Hi. Now, if you're a long-term follower of my YouTube channel, you will remember that in 2019, an abandoned disabled dog turned up on our doorstep, having followed our younger son home from school. That was when we welcomed little Teasel into our lives, and she turned our world upside down, in a good way, and even did a series of videos with me, Teasel's Tudor Trivia. Teasel's Tudor Trivia. So do look those up. By the way, she was named after a hedgehog in Brian Jakes's wonderful series of Red Wall novels. Teasel was recently delighted to hear that Prince Edward, the Duke of Edinburgh, had named his latest puppy, a black Labrador, after her. What an honour! He posed recently with his Teasel and his two other dogs, Labrador Teal and Cocker Spaniel Mole, for photos to mark his 60th birthday. Perhaps the Duke is a fan of Teasel's Tudor trivia. You never know. These photos of the Duke inspired Teasel and I to do this video. I already did a video on Anne Boleyn's pets, which of course included her little dog Perkoy, who had a rather nasty fatal accident. And Teasel did a Teasel's Tudor trivia on Henry VIII's favourite dogs, Cut and Ball. And I did a talk for the Tudor Society on Tudor pets. So I thought we'd leave the Tudor era and look at the dogs owned by the royal family in more recent years and their family pets rather than their working dogs. King Charles III and Queen Camilla have two Jack Russell rescue dogs called Beth and Bluebell. The Prince and Princess of Wales's family pet is a black cocker spaniel named Orla. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a black rescue lab named Pula, a rescue beagle named Mamma Mia, and the Duchess's beagle Guy from before her marriage. The late Queen Elizabeth II was, of course, very fond of corgis. She was given a corgi named Susan for her 18th birthday, and all her subsequent corgis descended from Susan. She also had doggies, corgi and dachshund mixes. And it's said that she owned more than 30 corgis during her reign. Wow! In 2021, the Duke of York gave his mother two young corgis, Mirk and Sandy, and he and the Duchess of York gave them a home on the Queen's death. The York family also love Norfolk Terriers. The late Princess Margaret loved her cavalier King Charles Spaniel, Raleigh. And Princess Anne loves bull terriers, although she had two rather troublesome ones, Dotty, who attacked two children in Hyde Park, and Florence, who killed one of the Queen's corgis. King George VI loved Labradors and corgis, and his wife, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, had a favourite corgi who was called Crackers. George V had five dogs during his reign, the first being a collie called Heather. King Edward VII's constant companion was a wire fox terrier called Caesar, who attended the king's funeral in 1910 and played a prominent part in the procession. Queen Victoria had a cavalier King Charles Spaniel for her 17th birthday, and she called him Dash. And she owned 88 smooth-haired collies in her lifetime, her favourite being one named Sharp. Prince Albert brought over his greyhound Eos from Germany, and the family's dogs also included Sky Terriers and Pomeranians. One Pomeranian, Turi, lay on the Queen's deathbed at her request. Teasel thinks it's wonderful that the British royal family are such dog lovers, but she hopes that they also have cats for their dogs to chase. That's definitely her favourite activity. Or is that eating? I'm not sure. I'll give you links to my videos on Anne Boleyn's pets, Henry VIII's dogs, and Tudor pets, and I hope you enjoy those videos. Thank you for watching me and Teasel. Teasel, you're gonna say bye. See you soon, take care. Teasel's Tudor Trivia.